Previously on Cinephalic. This film is entitled Pleasureville. Women aren't things that are supposed to feel pleasure. They are supposed to give pleasure to men. So we're all in agreement. All right. Protect the children. Protect the children. March is Women's History Month. Celebrate the woman in your life. Okay, jewelers. Because she's for sale. My name's Bruce, and I'm with the Philadelphia Film Bulletin. What's your excuse? My parents sent me a gift card for this theater, even though I've told them how much I despise their business practices. But alas, what can I do? I'm only a woman. Ah yes, I can relate. Throughout the years, through many Christmases, birthdays, and community college graduations, my parents have given me many an all golf gift card. I could survive on their food for my entire life if I wanted to survive on faux middle class Italian culture. But this movie is probably less of a defense to my sensibilities, even though it is directed by Catherine Bigelow. What's wrong with Catherine? Nothing. I just feel like ever since she was the first woman to ever win an Academy Award for Best Director, I feel like male directors have been pushed out as a result. I'm sure your review will be accurate and free from bias. Marvel has major plans and Phase 37 will be female driven. All that and more at 5.30. Felicia, where the fuck is my latte? It was he that demanded justice, wrote her debut cult film, Feminity. What do you mean you don't want an abortion? We shall all get abortions. Feminazi is a satire in the form of exploitation. It's a takedown of what men think of us feminists. German bodies, German choices. Equal pay for equal work. Or death. I use the right to choose for our lives. I think it's really good. <laughs> Her film, Nice Guy, Samantha Lessa Staple, and the other world. What should my username be for my dating profile? Well, I mean. Probably something that best describes you, like Libertarian Gamer 69 or something. Yeah, like yeah. Along with a spiritual sequel, Friend Zone. Oh my god. She wants to fuck me. and we're here with yet another installment of Manly History, the web documentary series brought to you in part by Axe. Yeah! Yeah! Axe, the set that's still number one with real manly men in this, the year 2025.
Did you know that Ghostbusters was originally a film with an all-male cast? It's true! Since the great feminist takeover of 2016, led by Beyonce Knowles Carter, otherwise known as Queen Be a Tyrant, in her seas of power, she ordered the original 1984 Ghostbusters to be wiped from existence. <laughs> her hardest, her quest was originally undone by some manly internet detectives. Oh, hey, and now, we present to you the original masculine Ghostbuster. Don't forget to wipe after. Anyone got any axe? God, I smell like shit. So you've only seen two female directors and you say there's too many and you're a film critic. Just because I haven't seen too many doesn't mean there isn't a gong bong Hollywood. What's taking so long? Did you just refer to women as a gangbang? Yes, gangbang of women is the plural of women. Just like a carter of crows, a gaggle of geese, carpool of Muslims, gangbang of women. It was also here that she would write the films that would introduce her to the general public. After the Gamergate fallout, I took a page from Hua Bowles' book and bought up a bunch of mid to high level video game franchises and adapted them in a way that I thought addressed feminist issues. Amanda directed two major video game adaptations, including Frackley. And Assassin's Creed, Suffrage. Most recently, she worked on a PSA about the social taboo. I was catcalled 43 times in 15 minutes. That's pretty typical, and sometimes it's a lot more. Hello, this is Amanda Justice. Wait, are you filming this? Is the audio, audio so on? Uh, okay, hold on. Oh my god. So what did you think? Terrible. It was. I'm shocked to hear you say that. But it's not because she's a woman. That wasn't the reason I hated it either. It's because she's my mortal enemy. What? I am. You rock into a headshot. I am Amanda Justice. Oh, I often do interviews this way. Free the memories. <laughs>